What's going on guys? Welcome to a random video on this channel. In this video we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and the Galaxy S7. And everyone's talking about these two phones because they're the newest phones from Samsung. Now starting off the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, I was a little bit surprised by this because this is a flagship premier phone from Samsung. And the reason I say this is because it has the faster processor, has a larger screen by 0.4 inches, has a great camera, 12 megapixels, and also has a noticeable feature, of course, the edge to the phone. So when I look at these two phones and I come compared to the S7, which does not have an edge to the phone, of course, and has a slower processor and a smaller screen by 0.4 inches, we have to think that Samsung wants more people to buy the S7 Edge. Now, it's an interesting looking device. It's sleek, it's sophisticated. Both phones are sleek looking, so I really like the way that Samsung designs their phones. But as far as what runs on the phones, I have to question what's going on here because it's a variation of Android. We're talking about TouchWiz that resembles Tizen. Combine the two and that's what you get with Android on a Galaxy phone. So if you're going to buy this phone, I would recommend just rooting the phone. Now as far as cost goes, similar in cost, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge is more money by $100. So you could buy it off contract for $750 or a two-year agreement for $300. With the S7, you can get it for $650 off contract and $200 with the two-year agreement. So we have to say, what is the difference and why would you want to select either one? I think with the Galaxy S7 Edge, you probably want to go with that phone because it's faster, it has a bigger screen, and of course, you might be a fan of having an Edge on your phone. If you never used a phone, though, with an Edge, I'm not sure if you'd be too interested in the Galaxy S7 Edge just as a phone that you would want to buy. I'm not sure about it because the other phones out there don't have an edge and I would think if you never used an edge to your phone, I don't know if it's a feature that you really need to have. So I was, again, surprised that Samsung really chose this phone to be its premier phone. Now when we look at the S7, that's a phone that you're probably used to because you've seen similar designs out there and of course from previous phones from Samsung. So if you're a fan of the Galaxy line of phones, I think the S7 is a phone that you'd want to look at. The only problem though I have with that phone is that they made the specs slower and you also made the screen size smaller. I think in this situation, they probably should have made both phones with the best hardware they had, the best screens, and a similar screen size so you can select the phone that you want whether you like an edge to the phone or you don't. So I think Samsung could have done a lot better there. Now when we compare these phones to other phones on the market, I use the Nexus 6 with Motorola. There's people out there using HTC or even if you're a fan of the iPhone from Apple. If we compare all these phones together, I can see where Samsung is going. They want you to select this Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge as the best phone on the market, the most unique, you know, no other phone out there has an edge to the phone besides from Samsung and that's the way they think about these things but my personal opinion is this most people out there who are using a different kind of device that's not Samsung I am not sure they're gonna be convinced to go to Samsung because this edge to the phone so what we see here are two great looking phones I'm not really too interested in the variation of Android with TouchWiz and Tizen. That's what I'm calling it. I know it's TouchWiz, but to me, it might as well be Tizen because the stock version of Android is very different to what goes on the Galaxy phone these days. So if you're interested in designing the phone and you think the hardware is great, this could be a phone for you, either or, the Samsung Galaxy S7 or the S7 Edge. And by the way, they added a cool feature to these phones. They actually have liquid cooling on the phone. That's how powerful these phones have become. I would hope that the other manufacturers are paying attention to what Samsung is doing as far as that liquid cooling because that is impressive. So I would like to know what you guys think about all of this and more. Post your comments. Let me know what you think about the Galaxy S7 or the S7 Edge. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.